my morning off with some oats and bananas in there. Uh, slightly overcooked the oats, left it in there for a little bit too long, prattling about just trying to take my hay fever tablet. Um, also, we have got one uh, one bagel with banana as well. They're quite small bananas, small organic bananas, which we got given for free from my mum's friend. Um, so I had two of those because they pretty much make one large banana. Um, but yeah, the bagels we've got here are the sesame. I've already taken a bite out of it because they're so goddamn good. The sesame bagels from, what are they called, like New York bagels? are the best bagels out there, so highly recommend it. I'm watching this, currently watching some of uh, James English on YouTube, um, one of his latest ones, Two Jacked Best Friends. So, currently watching that right now, whilst munching on this. Aye, up the baby may roll the beat it, but you know I'm bad, I'm bad, and the kids not mine in the fence will cheer it. I made the zombies dance like thriller. Bro, I'm trying to get myself ready for the gym. Right, guys, I'm literally getting a phone call by this um, this insurance company. So I started a brand new job, which I start on Thursday, and they do not leave me alone. I've already got my insurance. We're a way cheaper and better company. Literally, they wanted to charge me. Oh. They, they wanted to charge me 170 odd quid, right, for public liability. Whereas I'm going through this other website, a little bit more specific for what my job is, and it's £38. What? All right, guys, so we've just pulled up at U7 Gym right now. Uh, we've got ourselves a nice morning beverage, which is going to be the Monster Ultra. Literally the best one. Um, I do like the blue can, and I did have that for a while, but over time I was like, it's kind of sickly, and I just kind of got bored of it real fast. Nothing beats the white can, guys, all right? So I know a lot of you guys and a lot of fitness influencers and fitness YouTubers do, like, bang on about Monster Energy. I like the white can, and, like... The goddamn right, it's fucking nice, and I always have it pretty much in my YouTube videos. So, like I said, we pulled up at U7 Gym, which is just over there. It is currently 9.26 in the clock. If it does focus, I'm not too sure where it is, but yeah, super early in the morning. I'm going to be trying to start going to the gym early now, um, pretty much anywhere between like 9 and 1. Just want to get it done and get my day started pretty much and get that good feel factor, because um, working out, mate, literally changes my mood it's almost like i'm bi bipolar if i don't go to the gym like i'm just moody and just feel like shit all the time um so i'm definitely gonna be maybe gonna try and change my gym routine a little bit and how i structure my uh, my plan as well so instead of going like five times a week i might start going like six times a week and um, focus on other lacking body parts, but also changing up my um, changing up my gym plan a little bit so it's not so full on in those five days. So over the six days, I can spread it out a little bit more, if you get what I mean. And also focus on a little bit more arms because looking back on my recent YouTube video, which is my one year body transformation, my arms are definitely lacking. I do need to build better arms, especially if I want to start competing potentially next year. My arms are going to let me down. So, yeah, we're going to be focusing on a lot of biceps and triceps um, as well. But I've got to be careful with my bicep because there's nothing wrong with my bicep. But at the moment, um, with my pushing, especially on the bench press, um, I'm getting some great pain in my pectoral major uh, insurgent, which goes into your shoulder joint. But the reason I say I've got to be careful with my bicep because if I focus on a little bit of bicep, that bicep um, tendon goes... That bicep head tendon goes all the way up into that shoulder joint too. And that could also be a factor to the, you know, to worsen that. Um, I wouldn't say injury, but um, but it's just causing a little bit of pain and tightness. So I've got to be kind of be careful. And this is where uh, the title of this video is going is that I'm going to be quitting the bench press because bench pressing on a barbell does put a lot of strain on the shoulder joint. And over time during like my, you know, go to the gym solid for a good over, over a year now, um, it's just over time, just doing uh, you know chest days and you know, my push days, doing the bench press. Uh, it's caused great like pain in my uh, in my tendon here. And it's quite tight. Um, I am stretching out. Um, I have got the massage going. I'm, I am massaging it and just trying to loosen as much as I can. Uh, but that's where um, today's YouTube video is basically saying I've quit this, and it is the bench press, uh, and that's my reason for it. Is because. My pectoral major is tight, and the reason for that is mainly, I believe, is the bench press. Maybe because my form might be a little bit off slightly, which I might have to, like, 
you know, revise on it through like recording my recording my reps and see where I'm going wrong. Maybe my elbows are slightly flaring out too much, which is causing a little bit more strain on that tendon. I don't know, but um, I'm not going to be doing it for a while. And if I do decide to start using the bench press, it'll be on the Smith machine whilst using the bands, basically reverse banding it. Today is Tuesday, which is a push day and it's predominantly chest. So I've got to be careful. Uh, I've got to warm up my chest uh, nicely and make sure I don't, you know, aggravate it any further and hopefully have a good session. So that is the reason why I've decided to quit the bench press. But without further ado, guys, I'm gonna get this gym session going and I'll probably do a talk over over this YouTube video. So guys, if you enjoyed today's YouTube video, be sure to drop the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and enjoy this workout. Hello, you cunts. Famous words from Harvey Price. How are we all doing, people? Hopefully you all had a fantastic day. I'm sure doing well, thank you. Um, so, like I mentioned in the video, that we are doing a push chest specific workout today. So, we're just warming up with the resistant bands provided by the gym. Uh, I do have a set of resistant bands myself, but this one just is a lower torque slash strengthening band. So, it just allows me to warm up a little bit more efficiently. Just getting that shoulder girdle moving, preparing for exercise through isotonic stretches slash movements, and getting my left pectoral and major insertion. Just a little bit loosened up. We're getting the blood flow to the working muscles. A lot of time when I begin my push session, especially on the chest specific days, I do like to use the pet fly just to warm up and prime the muscles, getting that blood flow in into the working muscles before actually going on to my main exercises. I am actually using a D handle equipment for this one, not actually using the handles on the resistance machine. The reason for this is just comfortability. Uh, it allows me to choose my range of motions and yeah, just allow me to choose where my elbow placement is as well as my hand placement absolute game changer and i highly recommend doing that uh, for one of your exercises if it's your one of your main exercises or just warming up like i have so going on to our main exercise i'm only going to be showing uh, a short snippet of the exercises that i'm going to be doing of this session so we are doing a flat bench press with the dumbbells uh, i believe i was using uh, 42.5 kg for this press and i think i managed to wrap out maybe like 10 or 11. Um, i always go between like the ranges between 8 and 12 and I do this for about two sets. And then after that two sets, I do a, a set where I take off 20% of that weight of that working set and basically just go to failure. And I do that with every single exercise in today's session. So I always knock off 20% and I just get a little bit more volume in the uh, in the workout. Going into exercise number two, and we are pretty much doing the same thing, but with an incline, just working that upper chest. And uh, I'm not too sure what weight we're using here. Maybe 37.5s, maybe, possibly. Uh, um, going again, same rep ranges, same sets, and then dropping it down again. Um, you know, in this one, we're just mainly focusing on the uh, eccentric. So going down fairly slowly within like maybe like three seconds and then pushing up for two, trying to keep that tempo consistently throughout the lifts. I forgot to mention, so before I do my working sets, I do two feeder sets. So what are feeder sets? Feeder sets are preparing you for the right weight for your working sets. So obviously start lower, slowly build up through those two feeder sets, and then you go on your working set. The next two exercises are gonna be focusing on the upper chest because that's an area where I feel like I need to build up more so we are doing a seated cuff pectoral fly using the cable machine and then the other one's going to be a clavicle fly so going across the chest and working the clavicle as shown on the screen um, the reason why we're sitting down just to neglect all momentum normally you get some sort of momentum when you go into failure uh, when standing and also the cuffs allows me to go a little bit heavier and be able to like rep out more basically and not lacking form so that's why i'm using the cuffs and sitting down for these exercises and on to the last and final exercise and it's going to be a seated hammer chest press uh, the key teaching point of this one is just basically trying to focus on keeping the elbows nice and tight by the chest and then just driving up and getting that good contraction into the chest and that's the end of the session hopefully you guys enjoyed it right guys so that is the workout done the push chest focus workout thoroughly enjoyed it um, slightly different to what I'm slightly used to because the two of the exercises are meant to be with the barbell on the bench press and the incline bench press but we removed the barbell and added the dumbbells and I'll tell you now massive improvements you know I feel a bit more comfortable where to place my arms um, get a little bit tightened towards my torso and just basically pressing up without having my um, my pectoral major um, insurgent like getting any more aggravated um it felt pretty good the warm-up of the session was pretty good focusing on just activating the muscles the pectorials as well as just getting some blood flow in there um so definitely 
Um, highly recommend doing that before you working out. Um, just get some blood flow going. So get your resistant bands. Uh, hopefully your gym provides them. If not, go buy yourself some. Um, I'll tell you what a good website is. It's called a Strength Shop. Not sponsored, but go check them out. They've got a lot of uh, strength thing or resistant bands um, from different types of talks or strengths. Um, so be sure to go get yourself some. And I'll tell you now, it's an absolute game changer, especially when you incorporate that into your exercises, which I do. Um, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I might be using the uh, barbell Smith machine and basically do a reverse band. So I might do that on Saturday, which is my next chest session. Well, it's not chest session, it's a push session with the shoulders as well. Um, so I'll probably give that a shot and let you guys know how that gets on. That is it for the YouTube video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's YouTube video. If you have, drop a like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And um, yeah, I've got some content creation on the way with something that's gonna be happening pretty soon, which is uh, whether or not I'm psyched to announce, I don't know, you have to wait and see. But yeah, enjoy the rest of your day guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day. Peace out.